Welcome once again, folks, to the celebration of Sunday Mass. We are in the sixth Sunday of Easter. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. The grace and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you all and with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God, God and, and to you, my brothers, brothers and sisters, that I have great sin, sin in my heart. thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my mysterious fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary of the Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest. And on earth, peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father. Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son. Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father. You take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. And let us pray. Grant, Almighty God, that we may celebrate with heartfelt devotion these days of joy, which we keep in honor of the risen Lord, and that what we relive in remembrance, we may always hold to in what we do. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Our first reading comes from the Acts of the Apostles. Some who had come down from Judea were instructing the brothers, unless you are circumcised according to to the Mosaic practice, you cannot be saved. Because there arose no little dissension and debate by Paul and Barnabas with them, it was decided that Paul, Barnabas, and some of the others should go up to Jerusalem to the apostles and elders about this question. The apostles and elders, in agreement with the whole church, decided to choose representatives and to send them to Antioch with Paul and Barnabas. The ones chosen were Judas, who was called Barsabbas, and Silas, leaders among the brothers. This is the letter, the letter delivered by them. The apostles and the elders, your brothers, to the brothers of Antioch, Syria, and Cilicia of Gentile origin, greetings. Since we have heard that some of our number who went out without any mandate from us have upset you with their teachings and disturbed your peace of mind, we have with one accord decided to choose representatives and to send them to you along with our beloved Barnabas and Paul, who have dedicated their lives to the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. So we are sending Judas and Silas, who will convey this same message by word of mouth. It is, the, it is the decision of the Holy Spirit and of us not to place on you any burden beyond these necessities, namely, to abstain from meat sacrificed to idols, from blood, from meats of strangled animals, and from unlawful marriage. If you keep free of these, you will be doing what is right. Farewell. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Responsorous song, O God, let all the nations praise you. O God, let all the nations praise you. May God have pity on us and bless us. May he let his face shine upon us. So may your way be known upon earth, among all nations, your salvation. 
O God, let all the nations praise thee. May the nations be glad and exult because you rule the peoples in equity, the nations on the earth you guide. O God, let all the nations praise thee. May the peoples praise you, O God. May all the peoples praise you. May God bless us, and may all the ends of the earth fear him. O God, let all the nations praise you. A reading from the book of Revelation. The angel took me in spirit to a great high mountain and showed me the holy city, Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God. It gleamed with the splendor of God. Its radiance was like that of a precious stone, like jasper, clear as crystal. It had a massive high wall with 12 gates where 12 angels were stationed and on which names were inscribed, the names of the 12 tribes of the Israelites. There were three gates facing east, three north, three south, and three west. The wall of the city had 12 courses of stone as its foundation, on which were inscribed the 12 names of the 12 apostles of the Lamb. I saw no temple in the city, for its temple is the Lord God Almighty and Lamb. The city had no need of sun or moon to shine on it, for the glory of God gave it light, and its lamp was the Lamb. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory, Glory to you, o Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Whoever loves me will keep my word, and my Father will love him, and we will come to him and make our dwelling with him. Whoever does not love me does not keep my words, yet the word you hear is not mine, but that of the Father who sends me. I have told you this while I am with you. The Advocate, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, will teach you everything and remind you of all that I told you. Peace I leave with you. My peace I give you. Not as the world gives do I give it to you. Do not let your hearts be troubled or afraid. You have heard me tell you I'm going away and I will come back to you. If you loved me, you would rejoice that I'm going to the Father, for the Father is greater than I. And now I have told you this before it happens, so that when it happens, you may believe. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Folks, on this sixth Sunday of Easter, I was reminded of a story that I read, a very bizarre story that hit the news media in the 1990s. Uh, and the story was about a girl named Tracy Lippert. She was a contestant uh, destined for the Miss Virginia Beauty Contest after winning the title of Miss Williamsburg, Virginia. Unfortunately, Tracy never made it to the Miss Virginia uh, pageant. Instead, after the crowning of her successor, Tracy got in her car and drove 275 miles to Lewisburg. Her goal was to seek revenge against her boyfriend who had jilted her for another woman. Reportedly, she carried a 9mm uh, gun, pistol, a butcher knife, a pair of rubber gloves, a bottle of lighter fluid, and a claw hammer. When she arrived at the home of her rival, the woman that was now the girlfriend of the ex-boyfriend, she rang at the doorbell. 
Her rival's father answered the, the door, and Tracy told him that her car had broken down and she could use his phone. And the man said, sure, come on in. Well, Tracy went in, and once inside the house, struck the father with a hammer. Uh, it stunned him, but it did not knock him out. And so then she pulled out her gun and attempted to shoot him. But little did she know that this gentleman was a former Secret Service agent in the White House. And at this point, his wife, the rival's mother, joined the skirmish and the parents held the distraught Tracy until the police arrived. After being arrested, the police questioned her as to why she would do such a terrible thing. And Tracy said her motive was to seek revenge because she needed inner peace. Inner peace! I suspect that most of us want inner peace, but we wouldn't go to these extremes or desperate measures to get it. And still, we long for inner peace, which is why the Gospel today is, has a favorite verse for so many people, where Jesus says to his disciples, Peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you. I do not give it as the world gives it. So do not let your hearts be troubled or afraid. And Jesus was preparing his disciples um, for living in the world without his physical presence. And this was the night before Jesus was crucified on the cross and he was trying to prepare them because they were gonna face many challenges, just like we have to face challenges. They don't know it, but many of them will suffer horrible deaths because of their faith and loyalty to Jesus. They will, be, they will need to be filled with the right stuff, so to speak, to face the challenges that they're going to encounter. Look at St. Paul. Look at the times he was arrested and jailed. And if we look at Acts 14, it says, in those days, some Jews from Antioch and Iconium arrived and won over the crowds. They stoned Paul and dragged him out of the city, supposing that he was dead. But when the disciples gathered around him, he got up and entered the city. And on the following day, he left with Barnabas for Derby. Folks, I don't think you and I will have the same kind of challenges that the disciples of Jesus faced. Uh, I don't think there will be any gladiator pits or lions or swords or crosses. But we walk around burdened by a lot of issues, especially nowadays. We're unsure, for instance, if the fires in New Mexico will ravage our homes as it has some people's homes. We're unsure of how we're going to pay the rent or the house payment and still have money uh, for our children's ed education, especially nowadays with the inflation uh, being so high. We're concerned about the possible loss of our jobs or whether our children or grandchildren will be able to find a job, anxious about how we are going to make it without a loved one that has expired. That is why before Jesus left them, he gave them what they needed the most. And what they needed was peace. A peace that surpasses all understanding. It was the peace that comes from knowing that no matter how bad or serious the situation is, Christ was there with his outstretched arms. Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. I do not give it as the world gives it, so do not let your hearts be troubled, and do not be afraid. I know that some will allow this message to go in one ear and out the other, and sometimes I wonder if it's in our genes. Uh, go figure. Uh, I remember 
my Jewish father was always worried about something uh, or another. But we need to hear the words of Jesus speak that good Jewish word, shalom, or peace. Because Jesus is always there with his arms open wide because he cares for us and loves us. So remember those words. Peace I leave with you. My peace I give you. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Turning to our loving and merciful God in prayer, we offer the following petitions. For faith leaders that they may exude, exude peace in their ministry and bring others closer to Christ, the Prince of Peace, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For peace around the world, especially in areas that experience daily devastation of war, especially the Ukraine, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For people who struggle with anxiety, that they may have access to professional help that they need and find peace and support in neighbors, colleagues, and loved ones, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayers. For the Mass intentions for today, folks, for the repose of the soul of Dr. Marla Minuskin, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayers. For the repose of the soul of Shelley Rosenfield, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For the repose of the soul of Guillermo, Evelyn, and Leonard Garduño, we, are, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. For the repose of the soul of Primitivo Forgione and Ruby Ray Forgione, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. For the health of Mary Lou Luhan, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For all affected by the fires in New Mexico, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. And for the repose of the soul of Paul Smith Alegre, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Loving God, just as you console the hearts of your disciples, as you promise them the Holy Spirit, calm our every fear and give us the courage to trust in you. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth is given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. And blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine to offer. Fruit of the vine also work of human hands, it will become spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord, wash away my iniquities and cleanse me of my sin. Folks, I'd like to add one more intention for the health of Lena Bach, who is sick. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours will be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands, to the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all. 
May our prayers rise up to you, O Lord, together with the sacrificial offerings, so that purified by your graciousness, we may be conformed to the mysteries of your mighty love, through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, it is right, right and just. just. It is truly right and just our duty and salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but, on this but in this time above all, to praise you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying he destroyed our death, by rising he restored our life. Therefore overcome with pastoral joy every Lamb, every people exults in your praise, and even the powers of heaven and the hosts of angels sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, Thou art holy. Heaven and earth are full of your glory, O Son in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, O Son in the highest. Lord, you are holy indeed, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, Jesus took bread, and giving thanks, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for the many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francisco, our Pope, Benedict, our Pope Emeritus, John, our Bishop, Michael, our Bishop Emeritus, and all the clergy. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of rising again, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. And have mercy in us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, our faithful spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the many ages, we may merit to be chorus to life eternal and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. For it is through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, that all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Now at the Savior's command, and formed by his divine teaching, we say together, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every who will graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. 
Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your loving church, and graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will to live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the risen Lord be with you all. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall. Let us pray. Almighty and ever living God, who restores us to eternal life in the resurrection of Christ, increase in us, we pray, the fruits of this paschal sacrament and pour into our hearts the strength of this saving food through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. The Almighty God bless us all, the Father. The Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace to proclaim the gospel by your lives. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Alleluia. alleluia.